Hebrews 10. As Christians, we live under the New Covenant or the New Testament. The Old Covenant, the Law of Moses, has now been taken away. We as human beings seem unable to keep simple commandments. It's within our capability, but the reality on the ground is that we're just so weak. And so the New Covenant, with which we now deal, involves God doing even more for us. And so Hebrews 10 explains, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and on their minds I will write them. So God does something to your heart, to your mind. God is not facing off against man over an open Bible, only interested in us if we're obedient to his words, and leaving us with the Bible as a kind of riddle to be solved if we want to have relationship with him. No, he's more proactive because he knows our weakness and yet intensely desires to save us. So he's willing to operate directly upon our hearts. The important thing is that we are open to his working. So tell God this. Tell God that you are open to his spirit, his mind, entering your mind and changing it. Keep asking him to be filled with his spirit. If we don't have the spirit of Christ, which is the spirit of God, the mind, the thinking of God, then we are not part of Christ. We are not truly Christian. So this matter is extremely important because who we are when nobody is watching is absolutely critical to being a Christian. It's where our heart is, what we are thinking, what our mind is, is full of. That's so important. And our mind should be full of God's ways, the things of his son, the Lord Jesus. This is what it is to be a Christian. And we can only get there if we accept the gift of his spirit.